In ancient Chinese society, the idea of male superiority and female inferiority was prevalent, and women were subject to many restrictions and discrimination. In the family, women had to comply with many traditional etiquette and rules. They usually could not receive formal education and were not allowed to participate in politics and social affairs like men. Additionally, women had to abide by many traditional customs and moral standards related to marriage, such as premarital chastity and postmarital filial piety to their in-laws. However, there was one exception in Chinese history, Wu Zetian, the only female emperor in Chinese history. Wu Zetian, originally named Wu Yuanhua, was born in 624 AD. In 635 AD, Wu Zetian's father suddenly passed away when she was only 12 years old. After her father's death, Wu Zetian was often bullied by her half-brothers. In 637 AD, Emperor Taizong of Tang came to Luoyang and heard that the Wu family had a very beautiful daughter. He asked the Wu family to send Wu Zetian to the palace. Wu Zetian's mother was very upset because she thought the palace was a dangerous place. But Wu Zetian, who was born smart and bold, went to her mother and said, How do you know that serving the emperor in the palace is not a good thing? At the age of 14, Wu Zetian entered the palace. When Emperor Taizong saw Wu Zetian, he found that she was as beautiful as rumored, with an irresistible charm between her eyebrows. He named her Wu Mei. Although Wu Zetian was very beautiful, the emperor had 122 wives and concubines, plus she was young, so she did not receive much attention. One day, during an event, Wu Zetian boldly tamed a riotous horse with three tools, which made Emperor Taizong discover her extraordinary ferocity. From then on, he kept his distance from her, so Wu Zetian never had any children. However, Wu Zetian's fate changed in 649 AD. Emperor Taizong, who was originally in good health, fell seriously ill, and the then crown prince Li Zhe assisted in governing the country. Wu Zetian, who had been a concubine for twelve years, saw hope again. After twelve years of experience in the palace, Wu Zetian finally understood that in addition to her abilities, she also needed to make good use of her natural beauty and female charm. Historical records show that Tang Gaozong, who was still a prince at that time, entered the palace to take care of his father and ran into Wu Zetian wearing a pomegranate skirt. He was amazed by Wu Zetian's beauty, and legend has it that the two of them spent a very pleasant night together. From that day on, this young couple would always release their repressed love in the most secluded corners of the palace. Not long after they fell in love, Emperor Taizong passed away. The Tang dynasty had a rule that if an emperor's concubine did not bear children, she had to become a nun. At the young age of 25, Wu Zetian became a nun, like a fresh flower in bloom. At the age of 25, Wu Zetian became a nun. In 650 AD, Emperor Gaozong of Tang became emperor. Wu Zetian wrote a love poem for him. Gaozong still loved Wu Zetian very much. Taking advantage of the opportunity to bring his concubine into the temple, he secretly went to meet her. When Queen Wang learned of their affair, she was not angry, but asked Wu Zetian to return to the palace to help her resist concubine Xiao Shu. However, in the ensuing power struggle, Queen Wang and concubine Xiao Shu were both killed in the end. After 18 years of struggle, Wu Zetian finally jumped from the concubine of Tang Taizong to the queen of Tang Gaozong. After the death of Empress Wang and concubine Xiao Shu, Gaozong's health began to deteriorate. In order to help him, Wu Zetian began to attend court affairs with him and proved her ability to handle government affairs. In 674 AD, she implemented a new policy of encouraging agriculture and animal husbandry while lowering taxes to ensure that people had jobs and food. Wu Zetian was also committed to education, appointing capable officials, and giving ordinary people with no social status the opportunity to become government officials. She raised women's social status and made many contributions. In 683 AD, Emperor Gaozong died and Wu Zetian seized power through political manipulation and murder. During the day, she was busy with government affairs, 
and had sex with male prostitutes at night. Wu Zetian has six children, but due to her busy schedule, her health began to decline. The palace doctor advised her to absorb male yang energy through sex to restore her health. At first, Wu Zetian didn't believe them, but after a regular sex life, her body gradually recovered, and she began to believe that sex was important for conditioning the body. Wu Zetian believed that it was normal for a female emperor to have a male concubine. However, when she heard rumors swirling about her and her concubines, even from her daughter, she began to fear public opinion. The princess suggested to create an empty crane palace to be jointly managed by Zuo Control Crane and Wright Control Crane. During the day, the officials in charge of processing documents worked there, but at night, it became Wu Zetian's playground. Some officials suggested that the Konghi Palace be demolished to avoid ridicule, but Wu Zetian insisted on protecting it and making it a special institution recognized by official history. There are several interesting stories about male concubines. For example, the traitor Zhue Huayi sneaked into the palace to hang out with the maids, but was caught by the princess. He should have been executed, but the princess spared his life, shaved his head, and sent him to be a monk with Wu Zetian because he liked his muscular body. However, Xue Yi became arrogant because of being favored and was eventually alienated by Wu Zetian. But Wu Zetian was unwilling to be lonely, so he invited the princess into the palace and asked her, Do you know that I am depressed and depressed? Is there any way? With the help of the princess, they found a man in his twenties with a perfect body, a well-built official son. However, the young man was not ready for Wu Zetian's request, so he recommended his elder brother. From that moment on, the three of them often spend wonderful evenings together. The two brothers knew that they could not meet the needs of the harem by themselves, so they began to recommend other people to join the ranks of serving Wu Zetian. Time passed, Wu Zetian was getting older, and various factions began to turmoil. In 698 AD, 74-year-old Wu Zetian asked Minister Di Renjie whether the throne should be reserved for Li or for her own descendants of the Wu family. After Di Renjie's multi-analysis, Wu Zetian finally decided to return the rule of the Tang dynasty to the Li family. In 705 AD, the 81-year-old Wu Zetian finally swallowed his last breath and was buried with Tang Gaozong, with a blank tombstone standing in front of the tomb. Wu Zetian, the only female emperor in Chinese history, reigned for 46 years from assisting Tang Gaozong to becoming emperor. She has been praised and criticized by different people throughout history. No matter what others think, in China a woman can become an emperor, this matter is destined to become a legend through the ages. Therefore, her story has been adapted into many film and television works. Thank you for watching this video. We hope we have the chance to meet again online.